Let's talk about the best budget laptop for data science in 2022. I'm Samanve and I'm a data scientist living in Sydney, Australia. In one of my earlier videos, I talked about the best laptop for data science in 2021. And in that video, I covered some of the basic requirements of a data science laptop, which included having a quad core i5 processor, at least 16 gigabytes in memory, and anywhere from 256 to 512 gigabytes in storage. In most of the data science laptops, you don't need a GPU because you've got access to tools like Kaggle Notebooks or Google Colab, which allows you free access to GPUs. So having a GPU won't be part of our criteria for finding a budget laptop. But if we do find a laptop that fits our budget and has a GPU, then that's an added bonus. So I'll set our laptop budget to 800 to 1000 US dollars. And if we go any lower than 800 dollars, then you're mostly looking at laptops that have eight gigabytes in memory, which is not enough for anything data science related. So today I'll review five laptops in that budget range. For each, I'm gonna list the price in US dollars, Australian dollars, and Indian rupees. And make sure you watch till the very end for the best laptop when it comes to value for money. And this laptop is exclusively available in India. If you're a viewer from India, then you're in luck today. The first laptop is the HP Pavilion 14. It comes with 16 gigabyte RAM, i5 quad core processor, and 512 gigabytes SSD drive. It also has Intel Iris graphics. This laptop has a beautiful finish. It looks very similar to the MacBook Pro, but it comes at a fraction of the price. Apart from the sleek design, what I really love about this HP laptop is the HP fast charge feature. It allows you to charge 50% of the battery in just 30 minutes, which is incredible. It's almost the same as charging your phone these days. The battery life is also pretty great at nine hours. On top of that, the laptop also features an incredible sound system designed by B&O. So watching a movie on your laptop has never been better. If you prefer a larger laptop, then there's also the Pavilion 15, which features a 15 inch screen. But of course, that's gonna be slightly more expensive than this 14 inch version. The second laptop is the Lenovo IdeaPad 5i. This laptop has exactly the same specs as the Pavilion, but it has some additional features. It has a better battery life at 11 hours. It features a fingerprint sensor, which allows you to log into your computer faster. And if you're lazy like me and hate typing in the password every time, then you'll love this feature. And like the Pavilion, there's also a 15 inch version, which is slightly more expensive. Next on the list is the Dell Inspiron 14. Now this list wouldn't be complete without a Dell laptop. Apart from the streamlined design, this laptop has exact same specs as the previous two laptops. And it comes with Windows 11 Pro and preloaded with Microsoft Office. Another cool feature about this laptop is that it comes with the Dell Mobile Connect app, which you can install on your phone and it'll be available on your laptop. It allows you to connect to your phone so that you can receive calls and text straight from your laptop. It also allows you to mirror your phone screen on on your laptop screen, which is a game changer considering this is very similar to the features on MacBook Pro and the Mac ecosystem, which allows you to connect to your iPhone. So it's incredible that you have access to a similar ecosystem just by buying a Dell laptop. So that's definitely a feature that makes it stand out. The next laptop on the list is a gaming laptop. This is the ASOS TUF Gaming F15 laptop. In addition to the quad core i5, 16 gig RAM and 512 gigabyte storage, it comes equipped with a graphics card, which is the Nvidia GeForce GTX 1650 Ti with four gigabytes of graphics memory. The graphics card by no means is the best one out there, but at this price point, I definitely won't be complaining. Now the graphics card will be useful to you if you're planning to play around with neural networks or if you're into gaming. By no means is a GPU necessary if you want to play around with neural networks, but it's nice to have in this case at this price point. The laptop features a full HD resolution screen with 144 Hz refresh rate. This high refresh rate means you have access to buttery smooth graphics. And it's also worth noting that the design is a military grade construction, which means that it's resistant to drops and extreme 
temperatures. So it's definitely a great feature to have if you're planning on taking your laptop outdoors in rough environments. This laptop comes in at around 2.3 kilos in weight, which is a whole kilo heavier than all of the laptops I've reviewed so far. So it's really up to you as to whether this type of design appeals to you and how you feel about form versus function in your laptop. The final laptop is a special one. It's probably the best laptop when it comes to value for money. But unfortunately, it's currently only available in India, but I don't see why it won't be available in the US markets very soon. The laptop is the Xiaomi Notebook Ultra. At a glance, you would think that it's a MacBook Pro, but it comes at a third of the cost, coming it at around 65,000 rupees or 870 US dollars. For this price, you get a lot. A 15 inch screen with 3.2K resolution, a fingerprint scanner, a thin and sleek design, and integrated Intel Iris graphics. 3.2K translate to roughly around three times the number of pixels of a normal full HD screen, which is simply amazing at this price. And it also features a 12 hour battery. This is definitely the best laptop that I've reviewed so far in this list. That's it for today. So definitely make sure to consider these five laptops if you're in the market for a data science laptop. Hope you had a great Christmas and happy new year.